I don't think I've ever jumped to do a review as quick as this. Sometimes I'm so cheesy, I might as well have just done double barreled shotguns down the camera. Get a grip. Hi guys, that's what I was everyone doing. Good, good, good. I hope, I hope you're enjoying your day. I'm back inside in the comfort and safety of my own home, away from scary men with scary dogs. So before I start this review, I just need to say this is my first ever Joe Malone review. Why? <claps> confetti bombs. I've been asked before to do them and I've never done them. I've had a couple of samples just sitting there, never really paid much attention to them. Um, I need to say thank you to Natalie Patel because you sent me this all the way from Australia all those months ago. I think we're talking way before you were even pregnant with your baby, so thank you. Um, also, I have a confession to make. I have previously discounted Jo Malone fragrances. I'm a bit of a traitor, really, considering they are a London brand and I am from London. I don't know what it is. I just had this thing in my head that because their fragrances are called things like Amber Vanilla and mimosa jasmine and just two ingredient things i just kind of discounted them as thinking they wouldn't be very interesting or maybe not complex enough for me um and also then you know i've heard things about longevity about them and then on top of that they're meant to actually be layered with each other that's the whole shtick with joe malone i guess you could call it so i don't know if i just felt preconceived notions and probably quite wrongly so but I don't know why I just thought you know here's some amber and lavender in some alcohol and please pay upwards of £100 for it and also maybe buy four or five or six more to layer them with I don't know why it just put me off and then I smelled this pomegranate noir which we're going to review today or which I'm going to review today <laughs> or we're going to review it it's fine you can chime in go go hmm Feel ya. Now I'm not sure if this is an extra special one. I have looked up a couple of the others. Um, I do have a lavender amber one there as well. Um, and they're not as simplistic as I thought. This one has a ton of notes. So I'm not sure if this is a very special one. I think it's one of the most popular ones from what I've read. So um, I randomly sprayed this on today, this morning, and instantly said, I'm gonna review that now. I've been wearing it for a couple of hours. Um, I've got a feel for it, so here we go. So it's an aromatic fruity fragrance. It's by Jo Malone, the perfumer I cannot remember. I do apologize. But the notes are, the top notes are raspberry, pomegranate, plum, rhubarb, and watermelon. I'm going like that because the notes are underneath my tripod. The heart notes are lily of the valley, jasmine, rose, pink pepper, clove, and olibanum, which is another word for frankincense, if you didn't know already. Um, also a poppinax, which is like a sweet myrrh, and then guyac wood, which smells like bonfire. I always say that, because it does. The heart notes are cedar, patchouli, musk, and amber. Now, I was so, so pleasantly surprised by this, so much so that I think I want to buy it. So, what does it smell like? First of all, I want to say that, first of all, I always say first of all, the fourth of all, from the two, three, four Joe Malone fragrances I've smelled, I really like how clean they feel, if that makes sense. It's like the difference of smelling the same perfume but distilled in either mud or distilled in triple distilled perfect alcohol. I'm not saying that they smell clean, I mean the feeling of them. They feel very clean smelling, they, they feel crisp, they feel to, exactly as they're supposed to be. So they feel kind of Britishy type, quintessentially maybe a bit Frenchy feeling, um, simplistic but clean. The first thing I thought when I smelled this was, oh my gosh, this feels like Enchanted Forest. I was not expecting it at all. Pomegranate Noir, I don't know what I expected. I looked at the notes, I saw um, a myrrh and woods and patchouli and all those kinds of things and I thought it was going to be something much much heavier and much much darker but it smells really green at first this is almost a little bit magical and I know that sounds really weird but this one kind of takes me places so I'm really excited about it I've never didn't know that I was sitting on this treasure where have you been all my life 
it's really clever because clove is right at the forefront. Clove is usually quite a heavy note, it's really distinct. And while it's at the forefront and this fragrance does have a spiciness, it also feels berry green as well. And that's not very green, that's berry green. So you've got pomegranate, you've got raspberry, you've got red type fruits along with a foresty feel that I don't know that's where that's coming from. It feels almost like it could have pine in it or hemlock or something like that. So it feels like winter berries and it's so, so nice. So nice. As it starts to dry, the clove kind of intensifies a little bit. It never takes over. And I mean, there are so many notes in here, but it does feel really perfectly balanced, which I absolutely love. Although I said clove's at the forefront, it, it doesn't overtake. So it just feels really, really balanced. Perfect amount of spice, perfect amount of green, perfect amount of fruit. Absolutely lovely. And as you go into the dry down, what I really like about it is it does reveal a slight skankiness. And I don't know where that's coming from either. I think probably Gayak wood has something to do with it. It does, it is a kind of dirtyish, rough, kind of smoky wood. And it's a touch of that that starts to come through underneath all of this forestiness. So it's like someone set the forest on fire way off in the distance <laughs> and you're smelling it way before it gets to you. Please don't burn forests, it's really, really bad, kids. It's got a really nice pepperiness that's, again, very understated. Everything here is really understated and just so. I will say that it isn't a super projector, but you know, some fragrances are meant to be subtle and some fragrances are subtle because they're crap. Some fragrances are subtle because they're meant to be like a veil. And I feel that what Joe Malone goes for is that understated, demure kind of classiness. That's what I'm feeling from the four or five that I've smelled. Of course, they have tons, but this is a review of the ones that I've smelled and it's going in the right direction for me so far. Just for the record, I actually have the amber lavender one right there on my arm. No way is it close to this one at all. I think that's one of the two ingredient type named ones. And to me, that is a bit too simple. So I think this one might be a bit more of a special one and I can see why it's probably a fan favorite. I love it. I really want to like lavish myself with this one. That's the feeling I get from it. I like that it's kind of subtle wintry. So it's subtle, it's, it's kind of understated enough that it doesn't feel full on Christmas wreath. You could wear this in summer. I mean, I'm wearing it in summer and loving it in summer. So just wanted to make that point as well. The sweetness level in this one as well is, again, very, very understated. It all fits in like a jigsaw puzzle. Ooh, me and my friends used to do this dance when we used to go out clubbing. I don't know what it is, but that's what we used to do. <laughs> yeah, there's no vanilla, nothing like that to speak of, but there is a, a subtle sweetness along with this subtle spiciness. Everything is done with just a touch of finesse. In terms of longevity, it rings true with what I've read. It's not super long, you know? I sprayed it on, I don't know, five hours ago, maybe? And it is very close to the skin, but I think that's the point of their fragrances. I hope, I hope it's not just because they aren't good quality. If there's any true Joe Malone fans out there, you can come and defend them. If there's any true Joe Malone haters out there, argue in the comments. I don't have time for it today, okay? But yeah, I like where it goes. It goes to a nice place. It goes to a, I'm outside in summer smelling a little bit like a Christmas tree. Fun. Anyway, if you guys want to get this fragrance, they sell it over at notino.co.uk and .com. I'll post links below. Um, if you want to go and get it, yeah, they sell it there. I think I'm going to have to order it. Anyway, my option below, can we go down there to, 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 to describe? Click down there to describe. And um, I'm just about to announce the winner of my uh, Natino giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Speak to you soon. Goodbye.